In this lesson, I want to explain how to navigation in 2D and 3D viewports of Colo 3D. This is a 2D window for designing the software, designing the pattern, and after that, you can simulate it on uh, as you immediately you draw a pattern here, it will appear in a 3D and you can uh, put on your avatar. This is an empty scene. You can go with avatar and insert your avatar from the library. Double click here. A female, male, kid, any avatar that you want. Simply click and drag on it. But I prefer to use my own avatar. And after that, I close the library or if you, you can maintain it open. If you have more, if you want more room to design, you can uh, he did <clears throat> click on this icon here to close the uh, library or open it. Let me close that to have a more room for navigating and designing. In 2D view, we can pan as you can see a ghost of 3D. Your 3D avatar is appear here to um, design a pattern on this ghost. For zooming, scroll, you can use the scroll almost to up and down. But as you can see, this software is the vice versa of the other software. I prefer to go into sitting, user sitting. I will explain all of those preferences here. But go to the view control in a zoom, make the direction instead of backward to the forward and close that. If you scroll up, zoom in, scroll down and zoom out i like it more it's exactly like other softwares and with middle mouse button holding the middle mouse button you can pan and zoom it's very easy you can uh, in a 3d window you can middle mouse button pan again and with the scroll mouse you can zoom with a right click you can spin it's very simple and easy can pan spin that's easy because uh, in this software, we just design a pattern for one individual avatar. The avatar is exactly at the middle of the scene. Okay, it's very simple and easy. When you click, we have a navigation. We have a gizmo for uh, 3D. The second thing that, that, uh, that I want to tell you, as you can see, the gizmo is according to the... Uh, screen the, another thing that i want to change you right click on the empty space the gizmo make it to the local coordinate or the best way is to word coordinate the word coordinate is is when you click something it's exactly like the word uh, it is a y x and z axis i will be explaining more about the gizmo and the settings but this is in the navigation okay we changed to sitting for beginning our tutorial about the software. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.